What is up guys, this is Viminal and today I'm going to show you how I record my voiceovers and give you a few tips on how to get started on the right track. First off, obviously, you're going to want to have a decent condenser microphone for recording voiceovers. And if you're interested in buying a microphone for cheap, I reviewed an $8 microphone versus an $800 microphone. I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description below if you're interested in buying a really affordable, good sounding microphone. The next tip is to have a pop filter. Again, pop filters are really, really cheap. You can find it everywhere. And I really wouldn't recommend using a condenser microphone without a pop filter. When you're recording voiceovers, especially sitting close to the mic, you want to reduce those plosive sounds, those letter P's and letter B's. So having a pop filter would drastically improve the overall audio quality of your recording. The next tip is for you to sit at an optimum distance away from the microphone. It really depends on the type of voice or type of audio quality that you want. If you're going for a more radio announcer voice or a movie trailer voice, you're going to want to move closer to the microphone. But if you want a more natural sounding voice, you're going to want to move further away from the microphone and it's going to sound like this. Around maybe four to five or six inches away from the microphone gives you a more natural sounding tone. Moving closer to the mic would uh, emphasize the low mids of your voice. Next thing you want to make sure is that you want to reduce the ambient noise in your room. That means turning off your AC, your electric fan, muting the fans of your computer, or anything that can reduce ambient noise. Maybe adding some sound isolation foam pads on your walls to reduce the sound reflection and increase sound absorption in your room. Basically, record in a quiet, quiet space. The most quiet place you can ever think of in your house. And that would drastically improve the quality of your recording. The next tip is that you have to make sure your microphone has the appropriate input input level. You want to make sure the gain is set to the right amount. So to do that, go into control panel, hit hardware and sound, click on the sound panel, properties, go to levels, and here you can set your microphone input gain. I usually keep mine about 50 to 60 percent. Anything more than that, and I notice that condenser mics pick up too much ambient noise. So keeping at Keeping the gain at, at this medium level captures your voice enough and reduces the ambient noise that it picks up. Oftentimes, when I hear voiceovers recorded on YouTube or, or a lot of videos, their input gain is just way too much and it captures so much sound from the ambient noise of the room and that's why it doesn't sound good. Next up, when you're recording, you gotta make sure your audio levels aren't peaking. So if you take a look at the right hand corner of the screen over here, you notice the bar isn't hitting the bar over by the red button. Its volume level is kept at a stable amount so the sound doesn't get distorted. Once you have everything properly set up, you gotta make sure that when you're recording that the audio doesn't peak. When the audio peaks, the sound becomes distorted and you don't want that. The next step is that you should modulate your voice. If I talk like this, it doesn't really sound that good, but if I talk like this and emphasize the low mids of my voice, it sounds a lot better. Our ears are trained to associate this type of voice as more professional sounding quality because of the low mids. So there's a lot to recording voiceovers that deals with how you deliver your speech. Aside from the technical side of things, you also have to practice the way you talk, depending on what sound you want to project through your audio. Lastly, I'm going to show you what I do after recording to give my voice that extra kick. So we're looking at Ableton Live 10 right now. There's a, there's a trial version available. You can try it out for 30 days if you want. And we're going to be using built-in uh, plugins for this. We're not going to be using expensive software, so don't worry about that. All you have to do is go to Audio Effects and go to EQ8. It brings up a graphic equalizer. Any digital audio workstation or recording software has this, so don't worry. You can use Audacity or whatever else uh, free audio recording software. I'm sure it has EQ. So first thing I'm going to do is boost the low shelf or the low frequencies up a bit over at about 100, 100 hertz, and then also boost the high frequencies. And then dip the, the mids just a bit, just a bit. That, for the sake of simplicity, just try it out, play around with the frequencies, and see what works for your voice, because my voice sounds different than yours. So to my voice and to the sound that I want to achieve, I want to emphasize the low mids, the, those high frequencies, so that my voice kind of sounds like it sparkles. So basically I'm just emulating what a radio voice sounds like, what you hear in professional commercial voiceovers. And this is like the easiest way to do so, basically 
just gives it that extra kick. But remember that good audio, no matter how you process it, no matter what software you use, even if you use expensive plugins, uh, a bad recording will always sound bad. So keep in mind those fundamental tips I discussed in the beginning of the video in order to get a good audio recording. So there you have it guys, this has been Viminal. That's how I record my voiceovers, it's really simple. And keep in mind those tips if you want to improve your voiceovers. Like, comment, and subscribe if you found this video to be informative. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.